Hello and welcome to today's video. Today is going to be a short little video that is going to be an intro to my skincare week. Starting tomorrow, there is going to be a review every day for seven days of seven products that are all related to skincare. You're going to get some cleansers. You're going to get, well, maybe not some. You're going to get cleansers. You're going to get moisturizers. You're going to get products for your lip, products for your scalp. Uh, under eye products, acne products, we're gonna go through all of it. Uh, all of these products that I'm going to be reviewing over the next seven days are all affordable products. Nothing in here is going to be like, you know, $120 things, <laughs> so I don't think so. I'm gonna have to double check that. In any case, um, I'm excited about it, but I want to sit down first and do a little bit of a video that just gives you a background on my skin and my skin concerns. And then we're gonna do a close up little face tour of my skin, uh, just so I can show you the kind of skin that I am dealing with that has been testing the products we're gonna be talking about. I'm also going to mention here, um, because this comes up from time to time when I'm doing skincare videos and I always try to address it, is my camera that I have uh, does have a blurring feature on it. It seems to be built into the face finder feature and when I try to turn it off or adjust it, it has a hard time staying focused. So I know that it's there. I wish that it wasn't. The next time I am able to go and buy a new camera, I'm gonna find one that doesn't have this. I can fix this by zooming in, showing you my skin close up. Oftentimes as well, sort of covering part of my face shows more of the real texture of it. Um, I do apologize for that and I'm going to do what I can to uh, make sure that does not interfere with showing you how these products work. So my skin, let me start out by saying that I have been dealing with the skin of mine for 40 years. I turned 40 in October, so I am definitely in sort of that more aging skin category. And you would think when you would get to aging skin, you would be out of the problems you had as a teenager, but you are not. So I have skin that is sensitive to the sun. I am freckled. I have a lot of freckles. I sunburn incredibly easily. Um, and because of that, I'm always trying to protect my skin. Uh, women in my family that I take after have had issues with having, you know, things removed from their skin um, as they've gotten older because of like sun damage or not necessarily you know cancerous but just issues with their skin so i do try to protect from the skin or from the sun because my skin is sensitive in that way when i was a teenager i had terrible acne um, it was really kind of cystic acne i didn't so much get like the white heads and black heads but i had the really red angry come from beneath your skin kind of cystic acne and it surprisingly wasn't in the places you always hear sort of about the t-zone i mean i had it there too i had it everywhere but all over my cheeks i had a ton of acne because of that i am left with acne scars not in the kind of way that it is you know changing the color of my skin but i have pitting and texture especially here on my cheeks from the acne that i had as a teenager i tried every kind of product you could to get rid of the acne. I think I was probably incredibly harsh to my skin. My sister uh, had the same kind of acne, if not a little bit worse. I have a sister who's two years older than me. She sort of went to a dermatologist to try to deal with it and never really got that much better. Um, dermatologists at that time didn't necessarily have the knowledge or access to products, maybe just the one that we went to that uh, we have now. Basically what worked for my skin and what worked for my sisters as well ended up being um, birth control pills. So it was really hormonal was what was causing the acne that I had. So now as an adult, I don't have that kind of cystic acne anymore, but I still have the scars and things that are left from it. Um, my skin is, I would say sort of normal to combination skin now. I can in the summer or if I'm wearing certain products, get a little bit oily here or around my nose, sort of the very common T-zone area. I don't really have um, dry patches, except at this time of year, I tend to have allergies and I blow my nose a lot. So I will often have um, dry skin around my nose and I always seem to have dry lips. So that is part of what I deal with. I have probably regular size pores, but I would like my pores to be smaller. Um, you know, I'm starting to get some wrinkles and things, uh, you know, on my forehead. I'm an expressive person, so I tend to like furrow my brow a lot. I'll make stupid faces. So I do have some of those wrinkles starting to come in. Uh, what else do I have to deal with? Uh, still get acne. 
you would have thought that would gone away by now, but as you will see when we zoom in, still dealing with it. I'm lucky enough that I don't have really deep um, or dark circles under my eyes, uh, but that's kind of what we're dealing with. A bit of acne, a tiny bit of dryness, a bit of oiliness, larger pores, aging skin, <laughs> all that kind of fun. So that is the kind of skin type that I have for when I'm reviewing these products. So now I'm gonna get you zoomed in very close. We're gonna get to know each other a little too well. And I'll show you what I notice on my face when I'm using beauty products, what I'm trying to disguise, heal, improve, all of that. Okay, let's zoom in. We're gonna start out here on my forehead. <laughs> uh, you know, a couple of wrinkles coming in. I do have a couple of um, sort of bumps here under my skin that don't seem to ever go away. They're not red or anything like that. I could probably go to a cosmetologist or a doctor or dermatologist and see what's up with that, but they don't ever seem to respond to any kind of products. I tend to get very sensitive here in the middle of my forehead, especially if I get my brows waxed, which I haven't done in a little while. This spot tends to get really red. Um, this right here that I've got going on, if you can see that, is actually just a scratch. I somehow managed to scratch my nose and have a little scratch there. <laughs> Fun. Um, as we get into the rest of my face, you can see some of the pimples that I have going on right now. Um, it actually started to put me off a little bit from filming this video. And then I realized that, you know, these are the lumps and bumps and problems that happen with my skin. And it's not doing anyone any good if I pretend to have better skin than I have. So, you know, there's the pores that I have going on here, acne that I have. I always tend to have a little bit of texture up here. Um, not as much on the side right now, which is often an issue when using highlighters because it tends to emphasize it right there. Um, I think maybe you can see a little bit of the pitting on my cheeks from the acne scars. Moving on to my chin, again, more fun acne coming out to play. Um, I tend to have wrinkles around my lips. I also have a little bit of facial hair there that I probably should have removed before this video. Um, but I find these are the wrinkles that bother me most are the ones that are happening around my upper lip. And again, it's because of the facial expressions that I make and I'm not gonna stop living because of wrinkles wrinkles at the side of my mouth and, you know, a couple deeper wrinkles that are forming here because of the shape of my face. And that's what we got going on. This is actually kind of a hard video to film, um, pointing out the things that are problems with our skin is not something that's super fun to do, but I wanted to show you, um, you know, what my skin was like as we are talking about skincare. Uh, it's really improved a lot in the last couple of years. Uh, I'd say maybe the last two and a half to three years. I think the issue was before that, I was never being consistent with products. So I wasn't giving anything the time to work. I was really inconsistent with actually making sure my makeup was all cleaned off properly and at the end of the day or doing anything consistently. So I did find that starting to use products, introducing them slowly one by one and keeping what worked and eliminating what didn't has led me to have better skin now than I've probably had in my entire life. So that is it for our intro video. I hope you stick with me through the next week to watch these videos. Uh, hit the bell notification down below because that's gonna let you know when I post every day. I'm gonna aim for 6 p.m. Eastern time for each of these videos. I hope you enjoy it. Give this video a thumbs up if you are excited for skincare reviews and I will see all of you in my next video.